What is up, people of YouTube? It is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we are going to take a look at the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Spider Man. Let's not waste any more time and take a look at the figure. So, I'm pretty sure you all know who Spider Man is, so there's no reason to go over history. The figure itself was announced last year, a couple months after Deadpool was revealed, and after the figure released, a lot of people argued that this is the best Spider Man figure made so far. Where do I stand? Well, you're about to find out. Spider-Man's sculpt, like Deadpool, is a stylized design. However, I actually like this design a lot, so people may disagree, and that's fine. The head looks pretty good, and I really like how the eyes look, but unfortunately some of the web lining has not been painted completely, which is a bit disappointing. However, thankfully the rest of the paint I think is SPECTACULAR! The red paint is a matte red, and unlike Deadpool, we don't have that, uh, that matte and gloss in sporadic places at issue. The logos on the front and the back are cleanly painted, the blue is also a really nice metallic color, one of my favorite parts about the figure actually. As for the rest of the sculpt, I think it looks great. The arms may look a bit skinny for some, but for me, I think it looks good. The body is a minor muscular sculpt as I'll call it, and it fits good for Spidey since he's not a super bulky guy. The legs look pretty good too, and has a muscular sculpt to it. On the ankles, unfortunately make him look like he's wearing boots. Not really a fault of the figure, but it does bother me a little. So I think the sculpt is a damn fine sculpt, and the paint job really makes this figure pop. A lot of people have been gushing over this figure's articulation, and you know what? I honestly have to say, rightfully so. So, let's get started to see how possible this Spider-Man actually is. Head, it's on a Rebel Tech joint, swivel hinge. Moves this part up. This thing blocks any gaps, well, prevents gaps, excuse me. Neck is also on the same joint. You can also swivel, well, both the head and neck can swivel. Shoulders are on Rebel Tech joints. You can move like this, this. Yeah, you can get some crazy movement out of these. Do be mindful, you know, they're like Deadpools. They're bad, they're terrible. Everyone likes, likes to complain about them. Eh, it's for the articulation, so... I guess you can't really complain. Almost. Elbows are on a hinge. They can move more than... Well, they can move more than 90 degrees. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Hands are on a swivel hinge. I'll just lead it off. Waist can move this far forward. Do be mindful, there is a gap. And this far back, but we got a super gap right here, so yeah, be mindful of that. But you can also swivel, just in case if you want that. So that's pretty cool. And the hand fell off, I just noticed. <laughs> ah, oh. Legs, they're on ball joints. Can move this far forward, this far back. And the thighs are on a thigh swivel, kind of, but they let you do this. <sighs> now, some crazy Spider-Man poses right there. Y you know, for that full, you know, range. So that's pretty good. I don't know how they got the thighs to do that, as well as combination with the legs. But, hey, they did it. And I'm not complaining. Knees are on a hinge. They can move this far back. It's pretty good. They can also swivel too, if you want that, but you don't really need it, honestly. Ankles can also swivel, and I believe they're on a ball joint? I can't really tell. I was never really clear on it, honestly. Anyway. Ankles are on a hinge. They have an ankle rocker. And there's also a toe hinge. Lovely. So, this is pretty much one of the most posable Spider-Man figures out there, and, you know what? While... Some people may- will definitely complain about the visible joints. Hey, it's, it's Rebel Tech, that's what they do. So, you can't really complain about that. And honestly, I like the articulation a lot for reasons I'll get into later. It's a bit smaller than his Marvel Legends counterpart. So let's do some size comparisons, shall we? Here he is compared to the SH figure arts Iron Man, Mark 46, and Captain America. Here he is compared to the SH figure arts Ant-Man and Black Panther. Here he is compared to the Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch and Iron Fist. And here he is compared to the Marvel Select Venom and the Marvel Legends Carnage. And finally, here he is compared to the Revel Tech Deadpool. So Spider-Man himself may stand out when displayed with other Marvel figure brands because of most of his joints being visible. But if you still want to sneak him into a display, you're covered. Spider-Man comes with a lot of accessories, and I'm really glad he comes with a lot. All these accessories are kick-ass. He comes with open hands for wall-crawling poses. 
He comes with two web flipping hands for web shooting. He comes with a pair of gripping hands for one of the web accessories. And then he comes with a pair of fist hands for punching and or swinging on the web. And like Deadpool, he also comes with separate eyepieces. We have the neutral Spider-Man eyes. We have a pair of surprise kind of worried eyes. We have a pair of angry pissed off eyes. And finally, we have a pair of squinting eyes. And like Deadpool, you can mix and match the eyes. Spider-Man also comes with the same tool to remove the eyes. Just be careful, the eyes are very small and you definitely don't want to lose them. Now let's look at these awesome web accessories. He comes with shooting webs for his stripping hands. They peg in like so. Do be careful, the pegs are tiny and they look like they can snap easily. He also comes with swinging hands that peg into his fists. A and these are my favorite accessories, because we actually have webs to make him swing around. Pulse ability options with Spider-Man are near endless. Spidey also comes with this web accessory that can be used to grip on something or another character. Or it can be used for dynamic web swinging pose. He also comes with a Rebel Tech stand and an extra arm that pegs in to give him some more height. And finally, he comes with a clamp and a magnet peg for him to wall crawl. I personally love this accessory because I think it's pretty cool that we got something to make a wall crawl. Overall, the Rebel Tech Spider-Man is a very good figure. I love it because it's a Spider-Man that we can actually pose like an actual Spider-Man. The excellent articulation really helps this figure stand out more, and there's a ton more posability options with this one that some other Spider-Man figures could not offer. Now this figure is not for everybody, and I can see why. But if you're a fan of Spider-Man and love posing and taking pictures of your figures, this is definitely a figure you don't want to miss out on, especially with Venom just around the corner. This figure is really good in my opinion, and I'll have to give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway guys and gals, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, like it, and if you want to give your thoughts, leave a comment. And if you want to, subscribe for more content. I do a lot more stuff that I think some of you will also enjoy. With that being said, I'm Super Mario Zilla, and I am out. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.